Let your loins be girded. Luke chapter 12 and verse 35. Let your waists, loins be girded and your lamps burning. This verse is talking about preparation for the coming warfare. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. Therefore, gird up your loins of your mind. Be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Believers are to be clearly positioned in the resurrected Christ Jesus who offers promises in the hope of their resurrection during the future coming of Jesus. And they are to receive it in total single-mindedness trained by the word of Yahweh. Gird up the loins, that means to bunch up the tunic to free up the legs during attack and links it to the fallibility of the human minds to be ready to face evil influences. This is a warning given well as the numerous flaming darts of diverse and false doctrines and lies are being bombarded to eager immature minds not shaped to discern the truth. Yahweh sees the fickleness of humans and knows that their faith will not be strong enough to carry them to the point where they are able to grasp figuratively and literally the promise of eternity he gives through his son. As humans have the tendency of discounting the future and holding the present at a high premium because of their weak flesh. Therefore, in the present life, humans succumb to the many allurements and temptations placed by Satan and become a prey to his offer of money, pleasure, position, and power, in total disregard and disobedience to Yahweh's plan and purpose for every individual. We need to be ready and waiting for Christ to be lifted up to the right destination Yahweh has ordained for us. But right here and now, strengthened by our Lord, we need to fight the rulers of darkness, principalities, evil power and wickedness to bring more people into Yahweh's kingdom. Amen and Amen. God commands, let your loins be girded. That, that's in Luke chapter 12 and verse 35. Let your waists, loins be girded and your lamps burning. <laughs>